Hey there everyone, welcome back again to Engineering Preetam and this video is going to be slightly different, a bit emotional for me because uh, we will be stop using PTC Creo Parametric. There is a reason behind that, I will be explaining it and then I'm gonna also talk about what will be the software that will be replacing PTC Creo Parametric. So if I talk about my journey with this particular software, I started using this uh, when I was a student uh, back in 2010. So it's been 15 years of journey and I started it with a version known as Pro Engineer Wildfire 3. Since then I have seen how things have changed with it in terms of its capability, in terms of new feature being added and how this Pro Engineer Wildfire transformed to PTC Creo Parametric. And honestly, this is one of the very best software out there in the market and still I would say is one of top notch. When we purely talk about performance, I think the Solketia or Siemens Unigraphics and then PTG Creo. These are some of top notch uh, 3D parametric engineering software available out there. And personally, I have seen all these three softwares in action with their own PLM system. For example, PTC with Windchill, then uh, Team Center. And yes, I have not seen the Katia PDM link, but yes, I guess they were using with Team Center. So what I realize is Creo perform exceptionally well when we talk about the large size assembly. And one more thing that work in favor of PTC Creo is it does not require that kind of hardware resources as NX or Katia need. Now, why then I am leaving it? That's really a very sad part. Uh, the main reason behind that is I do not have access to PTC Creo parametric license now. And actually I approached to PTC as I already have made 200 around video related to PTC Creo parametric. When it's the series that uh, we were following and then the last video I guess was 135 or 136 video and they said no. Despite that, I am kind of doing free marketing for them. I mean, generally YouTubers charge certain amount for the product being promoted, but here PTC was kind of getting free promotion, but it's again, you know, up to them and I really respect their decision. Then one may ask, you know, why you really want to ask them to provide license? Why can't you buy it? Well, the reality is this software is crazy expensive. For individual like me, especially who is from low income country and so the other parametric software. And probably it makes sense for large corporation to invest in. But people like us who are not genuinely getting ROI, um, I don't think so. It makes sense for me to invest three to four thousand dollars that too for a year to get the license. And especially when I am completely aware of the niche or the target audience for whom I am creating this PTZ Creo parametric videos are really very small. So this kind of tells two more things. First of all, I am doing it just because I am very passionate toward it. And second is I am not doing it for money as I already told because the target audience size in this particular domain is very small. Then other may also ask, oh, why don't you use a student version or maybe any other version? Well, the reason is I just gone through the PTC Creo parametric user terms and condition. And I don't think so one can utilize the PTC Creo parametric student version to create a video like this. And actually I was thinking of this series can go up to 500, 600 video because there are so many modules inside PTC Creo parametric and we only have covered few of them. So if I tried to cover the entire PTC Creo parametric, then probably even 500 videos will be less, but it's okay. And it's not like I am only making CAD related tutorials in this channel. Yes, the CAD is one part of engineering with Preetam, but 
here we are covering so many other topics for example project management which is also i would say the area where i am interested in and professionally i am doing it so yeah i am very excited to talk about those areas as well in this channel but at the same time i also would like to continue my this particular skill and then what i did next is i started exploring and you might have seen uh, quite a few weeks ago, I also came up with a video where I talk about top 15 CAD software that either come absolutely free or they have at least student version that one can utilize for free. So if you are a student and you want to download any of for free. So if you have not checked that video yet, then not to worry, I'm gonna put that video link in the description of this one. Okay, so after I did all this research, my research finally end up at FreeCAD. FreeCAD is 100% free open source software that comes with almost all major capability in 2D and 3D parametric design. And the software is also getting popular and the community is also growing in a good pace. Another thing that make this software stand out, nobody going to question you if you are using this software for just educational or learning purpose or even commercial purpose. So if you are the one who is looking for this kind of software that gives you access for free without worrying about the license expiry date, as nowadays companies are becoming greedy as most of them already have adopted from perpetual or you know permanent license to subscription based where you are paying subscription fee for certain duration. Okay, so additional to this, uh, when we talk about this free CAD, it offers parametric modeling, which is nothing but uh, when we can control our model using parameter. It also have got all basic module, for example, assembly module, 2D drafting module, even it comes with simulation. Although I am quite skeptical about the simulation capability by all design software, but having this capability is a nice thing to have. Not only that, the free CAD also comes with different different plugin to further customize it based on your requirement. So really all these capability make this software stand out and help me easily to decide that which tool I should use to go ahead with. And when I started using it, I found it very intuitive. So if you are the one who is looking for that free CAD software that not only allow you to create hobby project, but on requirement, you can also create or do professional things. Then you can consider free CAD. And of course, in this channel, I'm going to soon come up with the entire series of free CAD. It's been quite a while I have started using free CAD. And I would say the software is not that hard. Sometime, you know, when we jump from one platform to another, sometimes we take time to adjust. But I would say it is really worth it. At least as an individual, you do not require to sell your kidney to get one license. And that too, not for a lifetime, but just for a year. Okay, so this is the thing that probably I'm going to talk about from CAD perspective in this channel. And now onward, you're going to see more and more free CAD and probably i don't know maybe i can sometime comment on ptc creo but i'm not able to make any further video related to ptc creo parametric which is so unfortunate for me around 15 to 17 years of uses and finally i am leaving it but i think leaving it for something better something good and that's wrap up this video guys i hope that you find this video helpful and informational if so then please make sure you subscribe to engineering preterm where we cover variety of engineering topics, especially from mechanical domain. See you guys in the next one. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.